Welcome back to my channel folks, I'm Gian Solo. Let's dive straight into this new video, new song by Ginger, who just dropped a new track, new video called Someone's Daughter, off their upcoming highly anticipated record, I'm hoping so. So I'm excited to hear this and see what the band has been cooking in their lab. Let's go. You teach me I'm not wasting any time. Just hear that line? Love the nod to the historical figures so far. Woo! Loving this. Right off the bat. So cinematic. Visuals are captivating. Man. Happy vocals, just on another level, I tell you. They're clean vocals, man. So entrancing. This part heavy. So good, man. This is so badass. Ooh, this progressiveness right here is man. Freaking great! They always find a way to blend this stuff in, man. It's amazing! Amazing! Storytelling in these visuals, man. Amazing. Woo! You gotta bang your head to that. Oh, God. The way she switches from clean to ground, man. It's insane. So insane. It's face melting, bro. So good. This breakdown. Sick. So good. What a visual, man. These things are... Wow. They can get in the fire. Come on. So good, man. This is amazing. Drawing the first punch, guys. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a ride. That was amazing. Man, mind blown. They definitely threw the first punch and served a TK fucking O. That was mind blowing, man. There was so much going on. That was amazing. All right. Let, fuck, let's talk about the face ripping wrist first. I mean, wow. 
heavy, precise, and accumulation of what makes Roman and Eugene such a sick combo on guitar and bass, respectively. I've long admired the band's creativity for their type of metal, but first fell in love with the band because of their riffs. And in this song, it's so cohesive, technical, and just drops like a 10-ton hammer, man. It's heavy. It's straight to the face awesomeness, and the progressiveness in that middle part just matches all the valleys and the peaks in this song. And then again, it just hits you. It just punches you in the face. It's so glorious. I still don't like the headless bass though, but let's move on. Then we've got Vlad. What a fucking drummer. I used to hate how he could have done some parts in another way for some of their other songs to make it more straightforward, but I'm glad he didn't because then it probably would have just sounded the same as the others. Well, Vlad is on his signature offbeats, snare rolls, and heavy bashing on this one and some time in the middle where he does go straight forward and picks up the pace, it just takes the song on another level. He is such a sick drummer, man. Such a sick drummer. And of course, all hail Tatiana, Tati. Such powerful vocals. I didn't believe she could sing and growl like that when I first heard this band many years ago and literally had to see it live for myself and holy shit, it was even better live. I was literally standing there like, how? And to this day, it's still the same feeling. How in the hell does she sing so clean and then growl with so much power? It's freaking mind-bending. It's so awesome. Now, I don't like making comparisons, especially to men, but it felt like the same type of power like the first time I heard Howard in Killswitch. But for Tatiana, she is eons above other female metal vocalists to me. Maybe some other dudes as well. But she deserves way more recognition because she literally does this with ease. And that is so insane to think. You have to hear her live because it puts their music in so much more perspective once her vocals glue it all together. It's absolutely just insanely awesome live. She is absolutely in a league of her own. And now for this stunning video. Totally forgot who directed it in the beginning. It's, I know I mentioned it, but I'm so sorry. But fucking hell. You did an amazing job. The visuals, they tell so much of the story. The nods to the historical figures of women is so appreciated. Tati playing the parts of women who've tread the path made by men, that's pretty awesome, man. Tati makes for a good Cleopatra, by the way. It's like a vilified metal Cleopatra, and I'm all about it. Now, I read the lyrics under the video, and it clearly, clearly relays the message of empowerment and breaking the mold to become a warrior for female. That's some truly powerful stuff and what a message. Now, I don't know who is all portrayed in the video, but that's gotta be Cleopatra and Joan of Arc and both are heroes in their own right. Was that also Marie Curie? I don't know. Like I mentioned earlier, the video is so cinematic and perfectly, perfectly accompanies the vastness and heaviness of the song, especially towards the end in the scenes where Tatiana is growling and singing in the fire. I mean, come on, that is some amazing visuals. The heavy riffs, Tatiana's powerful vocals, and those stunning visuals. Everything in this video, the song, was just perfect. I now can't wait to hear their upcoming record because this first punch, like she says in the song, they took the first punch, this first punch was a motherfucker. There will be pits to this song, I'm telling you right now. Now, I did read somewhere that the record will have a classical feel to it, and I'm all for it. If there was a band that can inject a classical metal feel in their music and still sound like them and elevate their sound, that's Ginger. So, what did y'all think? Did you like the video? Did you think it sucked? You're not convinced? What about the song? Did you like the song? Are you excited to hear this live? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this reaction, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button, share this, and subscribe for more awesome content. And until next time,
keep banging those heads.